Oftentimes people ask me what the fuck this furry thing is. This furry thing is the device that I use so that there's not a ton of wind noise when you're in lower West Manhattan making video about how to build a door when no opportunity is knocking. Okay, this thing, this is called the windshield. It protects the mic. This isn't the actual microphone. And when this wind is coming, you don't get the all right, you can thank me later. It's also very funny and it looks like a puffle from Club Penguin if, you ever, if you're that old, <laughs> if you know what that is. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk about the number one realization and thing that I learned from my time in Las Vegas. I spent the past three months in Las Vegas working as a videographer for a company called The Real Social Dynamics. There's a complete video about what I was doing with my life at that time. And I learned a lot, both passively and directly, from some amazing people. But throughout my entire experience there, there's one key, very key takeaway that I'm gonna share with you today. It's how to build a door when no opportunity is knocking. So we're gonna go over the underlying principle behind that. I'm gonna share a bit of experience with you, I'm gonna share a little bit of my story and a little update on my life. And then we're gonna delve in how you can apply it to your life because that's the ultimate reason that you're watching this today. So sit back, relax, enjoy, lock in, commit to watching this. Let's do it. Basically what this means is, if you want to start doing something, do it for free first. Do it for free without asking anything in return first. And that does a number of things. One, it shows the world and anybody watching that you can do it. Two, you get the experience yourself and you'll learn and you'll improve of that thing. So, for example, what's cool about my YouTube channel is that you can see when I started and you can see where I am now. Me making these videos, which you can check out, Welcome to My Life, the first vlog ever, over two years ago. If I never made those videos, then RSD would have never hired me because, well, they would have been like, all right, you can say that you can make videos, but let's actually see it. They saw my portfolio. They saw what I could do. They saw that I was gonna do it anyway. And so they hired me, and it worked out fantastic. And I learned a lot. In the next two months, I'm gonna be in Costa Rica working as a videographer at a surf hostel. Would I have ever gotten the videographer position if I had never first started making videos on my YouTube channel, just giving to the world, doing it for free, volunteering, and I would not have been able to become a videographer at a surf hostel in Costa Rica if it wasn't for the fact that I gave first and I wouldn't be receiving surf lessons, yoga lessons, and Spanish lessons. So how does this relate to you? I want you to think about something that you want to do. If you want to become a babysitter, if you want to become a barber, all right, let's just say babysitter or au pair, because that's like a professional babysitter. If you want to be an au pair, which allow you to travel, learn, and do a whole slew of awesome things. I know some au pairs. They learn and have amazing adventures around the world. If you want to be an au pair, start babysitting. And the best way to start babysitting is to do it for free. Offer your services, get the references, learn without giving people the opportunity cost. Get your foot in the door. It's the easiest, easiest way. Hey, can I babysit for you for free? Well, fuck yeah, you can babysit for me for free. I don't, there's no downside. You're just going to take care of my kids. I mean, the downside is that my kids don't like you or something. I mean, you know, you, there's always the trust issue. But if you want to start babysitting and be an au pair, just do it for free. Get the references. You don't necessarily have to get money right away, but you will get paid back and receive in ways that you couldn't otherwise do in the same amount of time frame, right? Then you work yourself from there. You get paid by babysitting because you get the references. You get people saying, oh, I loved Evan. I loved Jenny when they were babysitting my kids. They loved that. But you would have never gotten those references if you didn't, didn't do it for free, if you didn't volunteer first. If you want to be a barber, if you want to start doing haircuts, yeah, you could go to school. I realize that there's certifications, there's training, you know, there's education that you have to get. But if you want to start doing haircuts and get paid as a, as a barber or a hairstylist, start doing it for free. Once you start doing it for free, you'll learn a bit more. you get some more experiential understanding. You'll learn more about barber and haircutting, just naturally through the progression of cutting hair and, and servicing clients. And you'll also get the testimonies from your clients and you'll get to show the work and the portfolio that you've created. You would have never gotten 
those three things, learning, portfolio, and the work, and the relationships that you have, the testimonials, I don't know if that's three, if it wasn't for the fact that you gave of yourself for free, you gave before you received, and then from there, you can leverage that into a full-time paid position. Think about a service or an online, you know, sort of expense that you have, all right? There's a lot of free trials. A free trial is pretty much the same exact thing. You give people a free trial of yourself, of your services, and they get to see what you can do. If you're going to volunteer, there's way, way less downside for whatever organization or whatever person that you're helping out. I had a business, it was called Alien Polo, a couple years ago. And think of it like this. I would have to hire people for really good work and I'd have to hire freelancers. I ended up hiring a, a team of freelancers to help me build the website and really help me with operations, a little consulting and whatnot. A good amount of hiring took place. But I also had 15 interns and it was a lot easier to hire unpaid interns because there's a lot less risk. There's less opportunity to cost for me and if you're volunteering for the person that you're volunteering for. If you can volunteer, it's the best way, the absolute best way to get your foot in the door. You providing a free service gives you the experience and doesn't give you the money, but it gives you the experience which you can use to leverage in the future. I hired 15 interns. It was a lot easier for me to hire an intern than it was to hire a freelancer or a full-time employee. I'd have to pay them, I'd have to train them a little bit, and what else could I do with that money? But with a volunteer, I could hire 15. I had 15 interns all working for me at the same time, and there was no downside. Each one of those interns learned about social media, learned about operations, learned about online e-commerce stores, and they also got the experience saying that they did help out. Not only did they learn, but now they had the experience on the resume to further leverage themselves in future job pos positions. Now think about that in yourself. Right now, I have no credentials as a surf videographer, but because I'm volunteering, I'm gonna create that experience for myself. I'm gonna be able to put that on my resume. I'm gonna develop a portfolio for future endeavors, right? Now, I'm not getting monetarily compensated, but I'm getting free room and board, and I'm offering my services pretty much for free. It's more of a bargain, it's a give and take. There's no money being passed, but I'm gonna be, be able to develop a portfolio. Now, from there, I suppose in the future, that will open up doors, right? Right now, right now, I cannot get paid to be a surf videographer. But that that opportunity is not knocking for me right now. That opportunity is not knocking. It is silence, complete fucking silence. But I'm gonna build myself a door. I'm gonna go down to Costa Rica. I'm gonna make Instagram videos, commercials, documentaries about surfers in Costa Rica along with the accommodation at this hostel and the operations and the organization itself. But as far as surfing goes, I'm gonna create a portfolio. I'm going to build the fucking door. You see, you could play football, or you could play football on the beach in Tamarindo at Dream City. Make it available to the world. Make it available to the internet and build an online portfolio. So if you're gonna be a barber, start taking videos or pictures of you cutting hair and post it online so that people can check you out and find you and you have an easy to present portfolio. If you wanna start making videos about social dynamics and you wanna start being a charisma coach, right? I'm not getting paid for any of this, but I suppose I could in the future. Start making videos about it and show people that you can do it. We are visual creatures and it's a very easy for us to see and to picture in our minds how you would perform if you can literally see it getting played out in front of you right now, visually, visually. It's great to talk about the kids that you played with, the babysitting that you did when you're applying for a big time all pair position. 
But if you can show people videos of you with kids and photos and having fun, it's a lot, lot more compelling. Same thing with Charisma Coach. If I could tell you that I really changed lives and built up a social circle for you know people and friends of mine, clients, that's great. And if they have the testimonial, that's great. But if I can literally show my future employer, my future opportunity, me literally coaching uh, my friends, clients, whatever, and improving their lives right in front of you live with the camera, that is way, way more compelling because they're visually seeing that I can do it. Did you come together like this? Did you match like this? Was coordinated? Yeah! We did it! Oh, really? Yay. There we go. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Whoa, where's your accent from? London. We are visual creatures. Utilize that. Utilize that to your advantage. It's beautiful. It's beautiful like the Hudson River right here. It's beautiful like you watching right now. It's beautiful like me talking to you right now. All right, so let's wrap things up. Hopefully by now you understand how to build a door when no opportunity is knocking. When you're not hearing knock, 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 who's there? It's not an opportunity, it's your mom trying to tell you to get up and go get a job. <laughs> I want you to understand the underlying principle of giving and then receiving in that order. Do a little self-reflection, understand, and hopefully I can help you do that by you seeing me, and understand the underlying principle of give, then receive. Be a carpenter, create opportunities, build doors when no motherfucker is knocking, live an amazing life, and thank yourself for watching because I'm about to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Peace.